Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brandon Lee with virtualizationhowto.com and have another interesting video for you. I've been playing around quite a bit with Windows Server 2022, which is hot off the press as a public preview uh, with the Microsoft Ignite event. So we've been seeing the lead up to the public preview uh, with the Windows Insider uh, preview bills that have been posted over the past several months. And in fact, uh, just a couple of versions ago, we saw the change to Windows Server 2022 and not just the vNext build. So they changed the name and the download option. So uh, we actually saw the writing on the wall, so to speak. And so we uh, knew it was going to be Windows Server 2022. And so I've got that in the lab environment, been playing around with it. And in conjunction with Windows Server 2022, uh, Microsoft has released the Windows Admin Center. So they kind of did this the same way with Windows Server uh, 2019. They uh, released these preview bills and then they had this uh, more fully featured release that they released with Microsoft Windows Server 2019. And they're kind of doing the same thing with 2022. They're gearing up Windows Admin Center to make sure uh, Windows Server 2022 is going to be able to have that management platform that Microsoft has definitely uh, built as the uh, next version of Windows Server management. In fact, uh, it's still uh, the case when you launch uh, Server Manager that uh, you get that uh, dialog box. So uh, what I thought I wanted to do uh, with this overview video is just to take a quick look at the new features that are found in Windows Admin Center. So I think you'll find these to be uh, pretty pretty exciting features if you've been keeping up with Windows Admin Center. Uh, there were some pretty nice features with this version 2103 uh, build, which is what uh, I have uh, running uh, currently, as you can see, 2103. And to begin with, now that I'm in settings, I wanted to show two of the major features of this Windows Admin Center released, uh, release version 2103, and that is automatic updates. In fact, if you look at the updates, uh, tab or blade in Windows Admin Center, you're going to notice a new option here, automatically update Windows Admin Center. And that is by default turned on. So that means that now you are not going to have to go out, download the latest build, run the updates uh, for Windows Admin Center. It's going to take care of that lifecycle management for you, which is awesome. Uh, because as an administrator, virtualization administrator, the last thing we want to have to do is have more tasks on our plate just for housekeeping that keep us from working on other things. So in addition to the core Windows Admin Center updates functionality, you will now notice in extensions there is the same functionality built into extensions and this one in my opinion is perhaps the most significant of the two because i tell you if you have 20 25 extensions installed in your windows admin center and that's the way we want to use it this thing is modular we want to be able to take advantage of all these really cool uh, extensions that are available for Windows Admin Center. But the last thing that you want to have to do is manage also the lifecycle management of the extensions themselves. So there's the two components, the core Windows Admin Center program itself, itself and then also the extensions uh, have to be managed uh, in previous bills uh, manually. Well, now with this switch that's on by default, this toggle, it is set to automatically update uh, extensions. Uh, and as you hover over the balloon tip here, uh, it makes the note that they are installed as soon as they're released. 
So uh, really awesome feature there, uh, in my opinion, perhaps even more so than just the core Windows Admin Center uh, updates. Now, moving along from the uh, automatic updates, what else is in store for this release? Well, let's go back to all connections. I'm going to, uh, I have a, this is actually the gateway is installed on the Windows 2022 uh, preview release build. So I'm just going to connect to my server. One note I'm gonna mention as just a side note, Microsoft has really done a lot of great work for performance with Windows Admin Center. And one thing I have noticed in the previous build as well as this build, it feels like everything is just snappy. When you uh, click on blades, they uh, pop in. Uh, it seems like everything uh, just clicking around feels uh, a bit snappier. And Microsoft has done a lot of performance work tuning and uh, the HTTP2 protocol that they're now making use of. Uh, so with that aside, great performance, and Microsoft is continuing to uh, tweak that uh, considerably. Uh, the next thing to note is the completely redesigned events uh, extension. Now, if you, and I had left this toggled on, if you don't have the new toggle, which you see in the upper right-hand corner, and with the distinction preview mode, you are going to see the traditional event viewer just in the context of Windows Admin Center that we are all familiar with, uh, with uh, traditional versions of Windows Server. But new with this release is this toggle button. So if you toggle this on, Microsoft has uh, taken a it seems like they are taking the approach of going through many of the legacy tools that we are all familiar with. Again, traditional Windows Server management, and they are redesigning, revamping, looking at how they can modernize uh, these tools, which is really cool. Um, so I want to uh, just show you the events, the new events tool with the preview mode on. And Microsoft makes a disclaimer, there's still some major features missing uh, with the events, uh, new events tool. So granted, this is still a rough representation of what this tool eventually will become. But it also now has the concept of workspaces. So you can actually add a workspace, uh, add events uh, to your workspace. Uh, I'm gonna just choose anything here. And let's leave it at all events. And there are options for a stacked bar. And you can also, one thing I noticed, this is a bit buggy with this uh, drop-down menu. So you can choose either to uh, have a stacked bar or a list item. So let me try that again. Instead, I'm going to choose the list option. And again, seems a bit basic uh, to me uh, with the new functionality. But we can see where Microsoft is going with this. Uh, workspaces, the ability to compare and uh, tra uh, track data over time, uh, much easier ability to filter, uh, to choose log, uh, which log you wanna work with, choose the event IDs. You can even list it out as we saw before in either list or stacked bar format. And again, if you go to stacked bar, at least on my installation, uh, it does not seem to like to come back to the list view. So again, uh, this is real, <laughs> real time here. Uh, no editing of the video. This is uh, what looks to be a bug to me uh, with the new events tool. So we can kind of see where they're, where they're headed to. Uh, it's gonna be similar to the, the new performance monitor uh, that Microsoft has put a lot of work into, uh, as you see, the same uh, workspace concept uh, that they're they're looking to achieve with a lot of these legacy tools. Now, a uh, couple other things to mention 
you're going to notice if you hover over any extension in the left hand uh, pane you are going to see a little window icon i guess is the best way we can describe it with the arrow and what that signifies is that you can actually bring out or detach that extension from your main windows admin center uh, uh, web page i guess or web browser tab so now as you can see i've basically detached this overview screen and i have it in its own tab or own browser session so kind of a cool thing there for management or looking at various windows if you want to pop out those extensions you can now do that uh, so that's a cool feature uh, in version 2103 that was actually a preview uh, capability that you had to go in and actually add some developer um, I guess tags to actually turn that on in previous builds but with 2103 that is built in so finally last but not least Microsoft has done quite a bit of work with the Virtual Machines extension in version 2103 of Windows Admin Center. And what that means, uh, one of the things that they have uh, allowed or built into this version is if you go to move a VM previously, that VM had to have the same virtual switch on the source and the destination to have that succeed or that move succeed. But I wanted to show you, I've added the other Windows 19 Hyper-V server for a reason here. So if you select the destination, uh, destination path, you will notice a new feature in this release. You can actually choose what the destination virtual switch um, configuration is going to be. Now, I know if you're a VMware guy like me, you're kind of wondering, wow, this seems basic functionality uh, that has been missing, and, and you're right. They've, they've got a long way to go to have all of the feature sets that a virtualization administrator managing an environment with Windows Admin Center would like to have. However, I'll say this, they're making strides and they're, they're putting a lot of effort into the virtual machine tool to make it um, a very suitable replacement eventually for things like Hyper-V Manager and uh, Failover Cluster Manager. Uh, because I tell you, that's one thing that has really hampered uh, Hyper-V, in, in my opinion, is the tool set. It's not necessarily the hypervisor itself um, is that far behind some of the others on the market. It's just the management has lacked. So with Windows Admin Center, it's going to be nice to see uh, those things come along for Hyper-V. And now, really seeing where Microsoft is going with Azure, uh, Azure Stack HCI, which they are creating a, a whole hybrid solution uh, with Hyper-V on-prem, as well as deep Azure integration with Azure Stack HCI. So really nice to see uh, progress they're making there the last feature in the virtual machines extension is this new button that allows choosing columns for your information uh, in your virtual environment so now you can actually uh, group you can choose columns you can change how those columns are are laid out you can add columns. So uh, if I want to add a couple of columns in here, I can do that. Uh, very easy to do. Uh, so let's uh, do that. We'll save. And as you'll note, uh, we, have, we have the new columns. Uh, after selecting those, we see our generation. We see the host server. So kind of cool in the display of your virtual machines, uh, being able to uh, turn on columns, turn on information that, that may be helpful in the environment. So 
Windows uh, Server 2022 is going to be a great release. It's shaping up with a lot of really nice features, but in conjunction with that is Windows Admin Center, which as we've looked at, there are many new features and many more to come, no doubt, with uh, future versions of Windows Admin Center. But this version 2103, as released at uh, Microsoft Ignite, is proving to be a, a very fully featured Windows Admin Center. Uh, to certainly download if you're playing around with Windows Server 2022, this is the release to uh, kind of pair up with your Windows Server 2022 uh, lab environment. So keep posted uh, on the channel. I uh, hope to uh, certainly add more Windows Server 2022 content as well as Windows Admin Center. And hopefully this, uh, you've enjoyed the video, just a nice overview of Windows Admin Center 2103. So hit subscribe, hit like on the video if you like some of the content I'm posting out here and check out some of the other videos on the channel. So this is Brandon Lee once again. Uh, check back in and see you guys soon.